Hey guys, in this video, we are going to unbox and test out the CarPride Smart Touch Screen for your car. A big shout out to CarPride for sponsoring this video. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing. So there is a bit information in the box. Well, it is a Full HD 1080p display, 7 inch IPS touch screen. It comes with a Bluetooth, USB, audio, video and voice control. This is the screen itself. Let's keep this aside and take a look at the other stuff in the box. There is a suction mount so that you can mount this to the windscreen. And we also got the sticky pad here which would enable you to mount this at the dashboard. This is a 12 volt power adapter. Here are some paperwork and there is an aux cable as well. Let's talk about the screen. So we got the power button on the upper side of the screen. We got a mic as well. On the side we got power port and USB port for connecting your phone and media. 3.5 mm jack for the aux cable. We got cam in to put a camera, slot for SD card and finally we have the built in microphone. On the back we got the built in speakers. So let's test out the screen itself. Here is how it looks outside of the car. Well you can adjust the screen how you want up and down and you can pull it forward as well. Ok so this is CarPlay 7 inch screen. As you can see there are a lot of options to connect this CarPlay with the phone like the iPlay, Android Auto, AirPlay if you want to mirror your iPhone device, AutoLink if you want to mirror your Android device as well as the iPhone device and some other options like Bluetooth, FM radio, settings and there are options for the external devices like I did not insert the USB it's showing no device and same with the SD card option. Now let's connect my iPhone with the CarPlay. So the phone is successfully connected. As you can see it is showing the connected icon. You go here you have the access to all your apps that you have. Let's play some music. Well, they did send out the backup camera, which I will show you later in this video. Now for the Android devices. Let's try the Android Auto and connect my Android phone. As you can see, it shows the device name and it is connected successfully. And now you can see you have the access to all your apps that you have on your phone. Let's play some music. Now let's mirror this phone up. But first we have to download the AutoLink app from the Play Store. I have already installed it. Plug the cable with your phone. And boom. This phone is connected. Now let's play some YouTube videos. The cool thing is that you can also use this same like you use your Android device. Now let's connect the camera. As you can see the camera quality is pretty much good. So guys if you have a plan to buy this, I'll be sure to include the link in the description. And yeah make sure to give this a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching this video. Peace out.